It all starts with a girl asking for help, since her car broke down and she was stranded, on a highway, a truck driver offered to take her but the girl told him no problem, I won't get in with you, soon another car appeared and since this guy seemed cooler, the girl didn't think about it and got in with him, what she didn't know was that this guy with a nice guy's face, in reality he is a serial killer, now the truth is, and the girl realized it when she touched a bloody hand under her seat, but it was too late, the guy with glasses stopped, and with his wrench gave the girl tremendous blows to the death, days later, we see a bus passing through that same road, and here we meet Wang, an insurance salesman is keeping the driver Tony entertained by telling him about a woman who disappeared, there and until now they can't find her, we also meet Lee who reads his newspaper, and Sarah elegant model, and Jing a pregnant woman, and finally we meet Park and his twin sister Fang, the latter is a teenager who has autism and his sister always takes care of him, on the radio they report on an accident on the highway that is causing a lot of traffic, so the driver decides to take a detour along a dirt road that he knows, soon they come across a dark tunnel that they had never seen it before, but he doesn't worry about it and he continues moving forward a few meters, later they meet a guy in the middle of the tunnel, the driver stops and the mysterious guy gets on the bus, and Lee finds out from the newspaper that the guy called Chen is a wanted guy, so he prepares his knife to defend himself in case something happened. The pregnant woman argued with her husband, and then through her cell phone, 20 minutes have passed with the bus moving, and it is very strange for the driver that he still can't find the exit, the passengers are worried so they decide that they better turn around and return to full speed, 30 minutes more passed and the entrance didn't appear, the tunnel seemed endless, Tony stopped and everyone was very worried, so they went down to check the place, the pregnant woman found her cell phone that she had thrown almost at the entrance of the tunnel, after discussing for a while they realize that it is not just any tunnel, then Lee proposes that they walk until they find the exit, but to avoid getting lost, they will go with a rope that the pregnant woman had because she was weaving, so they began their trip on foot, Lee accompanied by the suspicious Chen who would carry the end of the rope along the way, they introduced themselves but they didn't talk about personal things, after the tunnel it began to cloud over and the passengers saw how some people were coming from the other side of the tunnel, they were very scared, but they soon realized that it was Lee and Chen, for some reason they had returned to the starting point, they were all confused, so they pulled the rope and the other end fell, it was supposed to be a straight tunnel, but it was as if they were going around in an infinite look, so they were trapped, they decide to gather all the food that is on the bus and ration it wisely, then the four of them go to check the tunnel, while the women and the autistic boy stay in the bus, half an hour passes and when Jing wakes up, she realizes that the entire bus is covered in dust, she wakes up the other passengers and gets off scared, the men arrived and see that the bus looks like a piece of junk, this proved that time in that tunnel runs differently, that a single hour the outside world, equals a week in the inside, Tony gets in the bus and takes out the food which was all rotten, and everyone wonders what going on here, the bus no longer starts and Lee finds a map that apparently someone left it, and they are not alone in that place, they begin to analyze the map and soon there is a blackout in the tunnel, when the bus lights came on the passengers discovered that Lee had disappeared, and not only that, but there is a trace of blood, they continue the trail until they reach a wall that is hollow on the inside, Chen took command of the group and decided to break the wall, there they found a strange room on the walls there were many photos of missing people, and they also found many severed hands that were missing a finger, and the driver remember the story of the serial killer maybe it could be his lair, and that is not a safe place, they also found the engineering plans of the place that show six separate tunnels, but that are connected with secret rooms, and to escape from that place they must go through the six tunnels, they have already passed the first one, and they start looking for the entrance to the second tunnel, Chen discovers a calendar with all dates showing 15th July, Chen realized that it's a clue and when he rips the calendar off of the wall, a secret wooden door is revealed, after everyone leaves the TV and the room starts showing a woman who has been trapped inside a small cave, next the group enters the tunnel number 2, is similar to the first but in very different times and with a lot of junk everywhere, whoever they find their old bus, when they enter it, they want to take out their box of instant soups, Tony found a gun on the seat and threatened Chen to return his box, Chen reassured the driver and by ended up returning the box, running out of food, the model was too hungry, so she decided to get on the bus with Tony to offer her body in exchange for food, while they're at it, Wang took advantage of the situation to take out the food and eat it in secret, but nevertheless Tony realized that, and catches Wang and starts beating him to the point of death, but a mysterious person attacked him from behind, then Wang escaped and told the others that the driver went crazy, when the group found Tony, it was too late because they already left him cold, Wang returned to the vehicle to eat the noodles, and when he bent down to pick up a package from under the bus, he found a sewer, the group pushed the bus, and they went down the sewer thus arriving at another mysterious room, but it is not the same as the previous one, this time they find severed fingers of married women, Wang sees on TV a woman trapped in the cave which was filling up little by little, the group finds another door behind the calendar, and they cross it to reach the third tunnel, which is older, damp and dark, 
they also find the bus more junky than before and full of snakes and rats, soon they see skeletons of several people around a table and rotten food, Wang was too hungry and tried to eat the noodles, but it was a bad idea, since he vomited it he thinks he will starve so he runs away, seeing him in this condition, Jing pities him and hands him a biscuit, when it wasn't enough, he became very aggressive and demands the entire packet. When she refuses, he surprisingly brings out a gun and steals everyone's food. After that, they continue advancing through the tunnel until they find a new room. This time there was no exit behind the calendar, and Chen sees that the woman in the cave is still drowning. Wang mentions that every time someone dies an exit appears in the room, so now one of them would have to be sacrificed to be able to cross to the next tunnel. He begins to threaten them with his gun, and Chen tries to calm him down, until he distracts him and takes away the gun. However the crazy man takes the pregnant woman hostage, and Chen has no choice but to return the gun to him, the crazy man forces Jing to shoot Chen in the shoulder, the guy had lost control and took Fang to the room to strangle her, Park tried to save his sister but it was useless, the deranged man ended the girl's life in front of her brother, later he tries to finish off Sarah but at that moment, the lights go out and someone impales him from behind. Then the crazy man dies eating the last biscuit, after all that, the four remaining passengers cross the entrance to the next tunnel that was illuminated with neon lights and adorned with parts of mannequins, at that moment Jing is about to give birth and Park stays with her, while Chen and Sarah arrive at the bus, the model had the gun in her possession and threatened Chen, however, she soon began to hallucinate so she runs away and stumbles upon many lifeless bodies, then she came to a mirror and sat down, a person appears behind and finishes her off, sadly we found out that Jing's baby has passed away, and Chen takes Jing to continue on the way but at that moment, Jing stabs him to death, surprisingly after a while he wakes up in a room next to an injured guy, then we are taken to a top secret military meeting this is where everything finally unfolds, an army general explains that the serial killer from the beginning of the movie called James has been captured, after having suffered a serious accident in his car when he was chased by the police. Because of that he was left in a coma, James had kidnapped and ended the lives of many women, but it is rumored that one of them named Sierra could still be alive, the bad thing is that no one knows where she could be, the only one who knows is the criminal and since he is in a coma they obviously can't interrogate him, so the army collaborated with the Best Brain Research Institute, the plan consists of entering James's subconscious through an experiment, and finding a way to wake him up or something that indicates where the victim could be, a renowned psychotherapist who is none other than Chen managed to enter the James's mind, and with the clues found on the calendar and on TV, they know that the woman is locked in a cave near the river, and they must hurry, because in the next few hours all the caves near that river will be flooded by the groan. Unfortunately Chen could not finish the experiment because time was up, and he was taken out of the game, to re-enter the mind of the murderer and discover the exact location, 24 hours must pass, the general reveals that the victim is very important to Chen, because she's his wife, later, the general meets with Chen to talk about his experience in the experiment, Chen tells him about a date that was repeated on the calendar, July 15, 1996, the general explains that on that day the murderer's father found out that his wife was cheating on him with a driver, because of that they argued and the woman stabbed her husband, and his father was an insurance salesman and his mother was a model, Chen is surprised and relates them to the characters in the criminal's mind, when it turns out that the serial killer is a tunnel engineer and by himself created the tunnels of his memory, where his chaotic consciousness was a place with an infinite loop with dark sides and good sides, but that led nowhere Chen entered with the purpose of waking him up from the coma, however, he met many people who turned out to be split personalities. So he tried to communicate with them to find clues as to where his wife was, perhaps among the personalities, there was the evil part of James and he could interrogate him as he bonded with them, he discovered how they were, Lee was the nicest and most rational personality, but unfortunately someone took him away, after that the chaos began, Tony became aggressive and greedy, what reflected James's violent personality, then Wang and Sarah were the personalities representing the parents, where Sarah had an affair with the driver like his mother did in real life, then Jing the pregnant woman who represented an ideal mother worried about her son, something that never had James, although in the end he showed his dark side. Then the last two personalities, are the twins who represented his autistic childhood stage with a feminish side, but excellent in math and science, however, there was one more personality in the tunnel, a distorted personality that hide in the dark, this personality that secretly killed Lee and the driver Tony and Wang, but to find more, Chen needs another experiment, so the next day he re-entered the criminal's mind through the experiment, once inside, he found himself face to face with James and asked him for his wife's whereabouts, but he didn't give him an answer, only mentioned how he hated his father because he didn't let him play with dolls, and he hated his mother for destroying his family and being bad, the traumas of his childhood made him hate married women, so he ended up with them. Then he meets Park Personality the autistic boy who is the weakest of all the protagonists. He tries to manipulate the boy and manages to get him to give him the coordinates where his wife was in his Rubik's Cube. 
However, it turns out that the twin sister's personality still existed, and took the boy who is transported to another place, and realizes that the coordinates disappeared from the cube, there he saw all the traumatic moments that James lived with his parents, finally appears the last personality that was in the dark which concentrated all the evil of James, and was represented by Chen himself but in an evil version, for the distorted mind of the criminal who is like a serial murderer. And was the one who ended the other personalities even the baby, Chen remains paralyzed and in an illusion he sees that his wife is about to be attacked by Park, but he stops, Chen takes the advantage of the opportunity to convince the scared boy, and asks him to wake up to reveal the location of his wife, Park accepts and runs towards an exit, then the evil Chen and the good Chen are transferred to another place, and the final battle ensues in a mud fight, the protagonist manages to defeat him with a punch, however another evil clone appears, the doctors realize that the protagonist is in trouble, while Shin's wife about to drown, as a last resort to save his wife, the good guy comes up with an idea, he believes that if he eliminates himself, the evil Chen will also disappear, so he does and the evil Chen disappears, at that moment James wakes up from the coma with his evil part eliminated and reveals the location of Chen's wife, Sierra saved just in time, but unfortunately Chen was left in a coma, and wandering inside the tunnel alone, in the last scene the bus appears in front of Chen, but we don't know who will drive it maybe it will be James with their personalities that will try to wake him up, or his wife will enter to save him, and the movie ends.